Hey, Jared, we uh, we just saw Nathan come back onto the ice. Right now, is he good to go for, for Monday? Yeah, I expect uh, Nathan and uh, Sauter to be back, possibly Timmons. Um, you know, those would be the three guys that are, are, are possibly eyeing a return for uh, Monday night. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, Jared, you're obviously uh, focused on the playoffs here, but if you could talk about the growth of this team and going from worst to first in the regular season in just four years, please. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of touched on this the other night that, you know, I'm proud of our guys for the work they put in. Um, you know, change doesn't happen overnight. Obviously, there's a lot of new personnel but a significant number of guys that we've had with us for the last few years that have been, um, you know, trying to grow as a team together. And, and uh, one of our goals over the last few years has, has been to, to try and get home ice in the playoffs and, and finish first and have that type of regular season that we could be proud of. And I think with all the adversity and, and um you know, just the way this year has gone with, with, with injuries and COVID breaks and whatnot. I think uh, it's a, it's a nice feather in our cap to, to be able to get the president's trophy and set ourselves up with home ice for the playoffs. And, and I mean, there's a lot of guys that have, that we've seen a lot of good individual growth from them and, and our team as well from, from the four years ago, especially, I mean, um, and it starts with our leaders and Landy, Mac, Miko, and those guys and coming in and, and sticking with it and, and keep working to get better every day. So, you know, looks good on those guys. And, and uh, now we're, we're preparing for St. Louis. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, a couple more days, so you got to make it a lineup decision, Coach. But uh, how hard it will it be to uh, make a decision if Saad's coming back to sit another forward, a uh, guy like Newhook, for example? Well, our, the decisions will be tough, no question. I think our guys have played good. And, um they're getting the job done. So, uh, you know, we'll look at St. Louis, what we project for their lines, see what we like for our matchups, at, at least to start. And then we'll keep evaluating on a day-to-day -day basis. So guy that, you know, might find himself out of the lineup in game one could possibly be in soon after that, you know, hopefully the, the lineup decisions we make and the matchup decisions we make are um, the right ones. And, and then, but even then we'll, we'll have to address, um, address our lineup on a, on a daily basis and just pick which, which lineup we feel is the best one to go the next, the next evening. So, but there, there's, there's going to be some tough decisions as we get healthy here. Peter Baugh, the athletic. Jared, you mentioned after um, I'm forgetting the days of the week, Thursday's game um, that St. Louis kind of is playing a lot better right now than, than maybe they were. What have you seen out of them that they've improved on as the season's gone on? Well, everything. Um, if you look at their record, what did they finish seven games above 500? They're, they're six games above, above 500 in their last 13 games. So, I mean, everything's sort of coming together for them at, at this point. Um, depth scoring, special teams have been outstanding. Um, Power play was good all year, but has really taken off in, in the last 13 games or more. Uh, penalty kill has stepped up. Their goaltending is is better down the stretch. They're getting guys healthy. Remember, this is a team that that has had a significant amount of injuries to key players throughout the course of the season, and um, so their their numbers and maybe the the wins losses it weren't as good as as what people expected. But now they're getting healthy, and it looks like they got a full lineup and. Um, they're they're a tough team. This is a you know a team a couple of years ago that didn't have a great start to the season a either. And if you look at their regular season numbers a couple of years ago, they weren't great, but yet they finished so strong and and then went on a run in the in the playoffs and and, and won a Stanley Cup. So it's an experienced group. They play hard. They got a, they got skill. I mean, they're deep. And this is this is a real good hockey team, and and we're preparing for that. Kate Shefty, the Gazette. It looked like Bowen Byron was out there today. Is he on the mend? He is. Yeah, he's uh, getting better every day, and um, 
you know, now skating with the team, I think is going to help him a lot. I think he's, he's got to the point now where he can skate with our group um, or get in, in group skates. He's been mostly skating on his own and, and just in real small groups. But now uh, he's feeling a lot better and, and he's on the mend. And uh, the next thing for him will be getting in skates like this with, with a lot of guys and then taking contact. And we'll see where he gets to. You know, he's missed a significant amount of time here for us now. Um, but we're we're trying to get him back up to speed, and hopefully he's an option for us at some point. Michael Morreale, NHL.com. Hey, Coach, I think it's rather obvious, but just want to get it from you. Uh, what would it mean to have Nathan back in the lineup beginning game one of this series, you know, from the get-go instead of maybe coming into a series midway? That would be huge. I mean, I mean, yeah, it, it is obvious. I mean, he's, he's our – um, he's one of our stars and, and uh, a guy that really looks forward to this time of year. And we saw what he can do in the playoffs last year. Uh, he took his game to a, to a whole new level and to have him out, uh, out there leading us with, with Landy and Miko, I think would be um, ideal. And, and it's something that, that, that we need. And I mean, he's just such a big part of our hockey team, especially driving our offense that um, to have him in from the start of the series would be, would be, you know, what the doctor ordered.